overwhelmed by PDF data entry? Let's fix that. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use Power Automate OCR to extract invoice numbers from PDFs into Excel, saving you hours. I used to wrestle with manual input myself, but not anymore. Let's automate your workflow. As you can see, we have OCR workflow. And what we're going to do today is we are going to extract values from PDFs. So in this case, we're going to use invoices and we will select a specific field in that invoice to extract. And we will do so for multiple invoices, which is a real life scenario. As you can see, we have OCR workflow, which is, well, my test ground for OCR. Last time I edited was three hours ago. I was testing it. And let's start a new OCR workflow tutorial. ParFX disabled. This is in case you're used to using Excel formulas. Small typo there, but it's okay. We all get it. We all get it. We all know what it is. All right. So the first thing we need is we need to get files in folder. And in our case, we will select what we have in, in downloads, documents, invoices, JAD. And yeah, it's going to be this folder select. And we will put a wildcard. This means select everything dot PDF. Uh, no subfolder, so we don't need it. And we will call this variable um, PDF files, camel case. Uh, what do we have here on advanced sorting? And we don't need sorting, so it's OK. All right, that seems about enough. Now, to make this all work, we're going to need a spreadsheet called extracted PDF values. And in column A, the first row, it's going to be called invoice number. OK, so that's all we're going to extract. We're going to keep this as simple as possible. After we get files in folder, we're going to launch Excel. OK, we're going to launch it into space. And yeah, open with blank document. No, open the following document. And document path, we select this little icon here. And there you go. You go to downloads and then bam, there you go. Done. Now, we're going to leave this name as is Excel instance. We don't really care. It's not really protected by passport. So it's all fine. And here's a little trick in case you don't have an Excel license. Uh, trust me on this one. You will launch a second Excel. All right. We call it a instance two. And it's an empty Excel. The only thing that it does is it opens last. Because if you don't have a license, you need to make sure that um, you open two Excels because the second one, the last Excel to be opened is going to be the one that you cannot edit. The first Excel that is open is the one that you can edit. Maybe Microsoft will change this bug. Okay. I'm just taking advantage of it because, you know, it's for the sake of learning. All right. So we're going to iterate through every single file in this folder. So we need the for loop and it's going to be a for each loop. Values you iterate, it's going to be PDF files. Store into current PDF file. Self explanatory. Now, here's what we're going to do extract from PDF. I find that it works a lot better than just using OCR. Uh, I really just know if you have a 10, it will give you IO. So yeah, extract from PDF. Uh, 
and PDF file, it's going to be the one that we have on variable. It's going to be the current PDF file. Pages to extract all, uh, in case we find it there. Variables produce extracted PDF text. Yeah, self-explanatory. Now we're going to need to parse text. We need to parse it. So when we reach this point, we're going to have text. So the text to parse is going to be whatever comes out of this extracted PDF text. And right now, we need to open one of our invoices so that we know what we're going to look for. All right, so we have an invoice from Jet Coaching and Consulting SRL. And invoice number is exactly this. So this is what we're looking for. However, this is what we see. We need to have a vision of what the computer sees. So since we don't know what text to find yet, to be fair, I know what you're going to say. Yeah, we already know it's invoice number, but trust me on this one. Place placeholder here and place a breakpoint here and now run. Uh, when you press, press run, it saves and then runs. So you don't need to save and then run. Now, here's the thing. We need to look into extracted PDF text, all right? And here's what we need to look for, OK? This is what the computer sees. So invoice number. So this is very important. We have invoice number space. We close. All right, so here we have text to find. Right now, we need to put parentheses dot plus. There you go. So what this means is find everything after invoice number space. We... Okay, we really don't need the variable's position. And is regular expression? Yes. Ignore case, no. And this is a very bad variable name. So instead of match, we're going to call it invoice number. Much better. So now... Uh, what we're going to have is we're going to have invoice number and then everything that comes after. So we need to split these values into an array with invoice number and whatever comes after. So here we go. The text to split is going to come from invoice number invoice number and the delimiter is going to be custom so we're going to separate by invoice number space not a regular expression and variables produced well it's going to be a list so invoice number list there you go save now we need to point towards exactly where we want to write in our Excel sheet. And in my experience, we, uh, I, I, I always use this one, okay? Gets the first free row. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. Get the first free row given the column of the active worksheet. Okay, perfect. So as you know, we have a place. As you know, we have a placeholder um, Excel. So we're going to use the first one. The second one is the placeholder, and we are on the column A, which is a column that says invoice number. And variables produced first free row on column. Okay, can be. All right. So we need to tell what to write. Write 
a value into a cell, a named cell, or a range of cells of an Excel instance. Yes, I know how to read. So the Excel instance is, of course, the only one that we're using. Value to write. Here, we need to make reference to our list. And an important detail, uh, the list is going to be always uh, empty invoice number, empty invoice number. So we need to just select the position one, which means second position. Arrays are zero indexed, so they start with zero. Zero is the first position, one is the second position, and so on. Uh, column A. And row is the pointer that we made, first free row on column. There you go. Now we need to close both Excel instances after we've done our work. So close Excel. We will first close the Excel that we wish to save, which is on the first instance, save document. Perfect. And now we can just copy paste, uh, control C, control V, and change the instance and in, uh, we don't need to save. So now we save. I'm gonna close this document because maybe it'll told, if it tries to access it, maybe we'll get an error. So just to ensure, we will open extracted PDF values now. And okay, it is empty. Now let's run our workflow. It should work. Well, it is doing something. It is iterating through the extracted PDF variable there. Uh, it gives an error because it failed to close Excel instance. That is okay. We're using an, a free version, so to speak. So close this Excel instance. And now we open extracted PDF values. And here you go. You have all the invoice numbers. We have all the invoice numbers. If you go back, I believe by order, 06, 016, 028, see? All the way down to 0117. I learned to trust breakpoints and free rows for smooth runs. Ready for more automation? Subscribe and join the next step in our journey.